This tutorial guides the user through the steps in submitting a CIMIX simulation batch job on Archer. Virtutex CIMIX is a full system simulation platform capable of simulating high-end target systems. All users who use CIMIX via the Archer infrastructure are deemed to have read and complied with the non-commercial software license agreement or SLA. Some prerequisites. We assume that you are familiar with CIMIX and Zen and have your grid appliance connected to Archer Global. We now proceed to setting up CIMIX on your grid appliance. Go to the grid appliance portal and log in with your user ID and password. Under the main menu, click on Download Grid Appliance. Click on Download Simix uh, module. And uh, save it. So now I have the Simix module downloaded. The next step is to extract it. I can see a VMware uh, virtual disk file called opt.vmdx here. I need to copy this and uh, replace the one that is there in the grid appliance folder. So now I have replaced the opt.vmdx file. Now I can start the grid appliance in the usual manner by double clicking on the file gridappliance.vmx. I have the grid appliance booted up now. Instead of typing in the commands into the grid appliances terminal, I prefer using a SSH client like PuTTY. Login using the default ID and password. I can now see that the CIMIX binaries are included in the grid appliance. Now I will proceed with creation of a workplace. For your convenience, a checkpointed CIMIX image is stored in a read-only Archer NFS. Now I will proceed with linking that Archer NFS directory to a directory on my local system. This CIMIX image contains a booted Zen hypervisor with two virtual machines or domains. Zen has been compiled to include CIMIX specific hooks to identify domain switches, TLB flushes, and page faults. 
A Python script to catch these hooks has also been provided. It's called magichaphandler.py. By uncommenting different portions of this Python script, you can incorporate TLB flushes or page faults, etc. For example, if you uncomment this portion, you can incorporate TLB flushes uh, using this script. Now I will start Semix. When Simix is up, you can see a prompt like this. The first step here is to uh, execute the Python script, which is this one. Now I can send commands to the simulated machines console using the command con0.input. In this case, the simulated machine is the management domain or DOM0. This command would send uh, the commands that are within the quotation marks to DOM0. This uh, this is the end bench uh, benchmark. And uh, this command finally instructs Semix to simulate for 1 million CPU cycles. You can also run Semix using Condor. To do, to do this, you will require a few files. I will copy a sample set of these files from our NFS server. Semix underscore wrapper dot sh is the wrapper script, which is the first thing that gets executed when a uh, when a job is submitted. It creates and configures a workspace and starts Semix. The script batch underscore script dot Semix contains the commands and simulations that Semix should execute on the remote machine. Condor underscore script is the file that tells Condor which files to transfer before and after running a job, which binaries to execute, and the requirements of the machines that will run the job. Now to submit a job to Condor. Type in the command Condor underscore submit and then the con Condor script which is Condor underscore script. This submits the job through Condor. To check the status, type in the command condor underscore q. The state i shows that the job has not yet started running. After a few minutes, you can see that the state would change to r.
we can see that the state has changed to R now and the job has started running. And now the job has finished. The output of the uh, of the job is placed into a file called screen underscore dump dot out. And in this way, you can see the output. For more information, check archer hyphen project dot org and the tutorials that are that are linked in the description of this video. Thank you.